Corona country. You know, I'm going to tell you something. These are some scary, scary times. People are afraid. People are panicking. It's a world panic. It's apocalyptic. I tell you what. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here right now, tonight, here from my barn, live in Corona country, I'm going to lift you up. I'd like to lift you up. And you know what? We should all be lifting each other up right now. Can you do that with me tonight? Say yes if you think you can. Yes, yes, you can. I know you can. So let's get lifted right now with this good old song. It's one of my first hits, and I'd like to play it now. It's called, You Lift Me Up. Life to lift my spirits high, but nothing that I've ever tried to do has taken me as high as loving you. Cause you lift me up, 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 up to heaven when you gently lay me down. You lift me up. is hard 
I've lost almost all my clothes, and I had to use a trash bag to make my padded shoulder tonight. So, you know, if you hear some crackling in the microphone, don't think anything of it. It's just my shoulder pad screaming at me in my ear. <laughs> you know, I've been singing all my life. And when I signed my first recording contract back in 1976, my main goal was to expose my music to as many people as possible. After having had a few radio hits, I found out people still didn't know who I was. In 1984, my career took a giant leap with the making of my first music video. Now here, I will sing that song for you. And it's called, Glenn. Turn the volume down just a little on the next one since we're so close. And it's called, Whoever's in New England. You spend an hour lot of time in Massachusetts, thank you, seems like every other weekend, got a meeting waiting there, business must be booming, oh, could something else be moving in the air up there, you say that it's important for our future. An executive on his way up has got to play the part. And each time duty calls, you've got to give it all. You've got with it your heart. When who else? When whoever's in New England's through I hear the winter time up north can last forever And I've been told it's beautiful to see this time of year they say the snow can blind you to the world you left behind just disappears. I, I hear. I've packed your bags and left them in the hallway. But before you leave again, there's just one thing you ought to know. When those icy winds blow through you, remember. When whoever's in New England's through with you, oh, and Boston finds better things to do. Oh, you know it's not too late, cause you've always got a place to come back to. success, now for the first time, people could put my name and my face together with a song. You know, I started becoming famous at the awards ceremonies. I got awards galore. The industry went apeshit, and they were calling me out on tour instantly. How's your arm doing, Wits? <laughs> Pretty good. You look like Granny from the Beverly Hillbillies. <sighs> anyway, you know, touring became my life. I became a certifiable platinum badass. 
and I was on the road 24-7, 379 days out of the year. You know, it reminds me, it did have an effect on my family, adverse effect. I'll never forget one time when my little boy, Shelby Blackstock, he took his daddy's name in the divorce. Shelby called me up on tour one year and he said, Weber, when you was coming home for Christmas? <laughs> I remember he just turned 18. Anyways, it didn't always work out for me to come home to my baby. That's why we had nannies. But I did one night after he called me and I hung up on him. I went right out on the stage and I sang this next song. Hit it, Glenn. It's called, You're the First Time I Thought About Leaving. It's a slow waltz, so if you feel like you'd like to do some dancing, be my guest. I've seen you smile more than I thought I would. And I smile back a little more than I should. Lately at night, well, he Shelby slept most of his younger life. We just didn't have room for him in the house. So we put him out in the barn. And it always made him feel so happy whenever he would look up and see our ancient grandpappy's ship wheel on the wall. It made him feel like he was being rocked as a, as a baby in a manger, like baby Jesus. When Shelby was four, it was time for him to learn about mommy's job. My business manager had him backstage one time. I was on the stage and my business manager and I planned for this to happen. I wanted to educate my young son the way I was educated as a young girl. You see, at a certain time in the show, I gave the business manager a cue and he sent young Shelby out on the stage to mummy with a towel, not roses, but a towel 
because mama gets sweaty out there on that stage, you know, and I needed a towel to wipe my sweat off. So I thought it would be beneficial to young Shelby if he did some work on the tour. And by bringing mommy a towel out to the stage, it helped him understand the value of hard, hard work. Hard work is what made me the billionaire I am today. With my betting line at Dillard's, my trucking and airline charter business, I became the queen of the charts. I booked a gig as Colonel Sanders. And before that, I don't think a lot of you know this, but I was the face of Fritos. Those were some good old days. I became a Broadway star. I became a TV award nominee. But you know, what's important for everyone to understand is deep, deep, deep on the inside, I'm normal too. On these days of isolation during the coronavirus scare, I've been getting back to the things that I remember doing as a little girl. Whittling, fiddling, Buck and steer out in the pasture, slapping mosquitoes with a fly swatter, spraying 409 on cockroaches. All kinds of good stuff like that. And you know what? I hurt too. I hurt and I bleed. Just like you. Just like all of you out there. I have feelings. And it isn't like I've had my share of rumors. So for you now, I'm going to teach you a lesson about rumors with the song Rumors. Hit it, Glenn! I overheard a conversation Your name was mentioned in they didn't talk about us, only her again. I couldn't walk, but I hung on every word. They said some things I wish I When there's nothing else 
did become a very real truth in my life. And you'll forgive me, but my camera person is being ate up by mosquitoes. So if I see one on her, I'm going to slap the shit out of her until it's dead. So don't mind me. My camera woman is doing a real good job. And a camera woman, if you see one on me, uh, against my knowledge, feel free to pop it for me. Norval and I ended up getting a D-I-V-O-R-C-E after I found out he was cheating on me with another woman. A woman who was actually a friend of us. We knew her. And it hurt. And as usual, in most cases, I was the last one to know. Hit it, Glenn! See the fire turn to ashes. I couldn't feel the winds of change. I was lost inside the passion, blinded by the memory of a flame. I guess I should have felt it when you touched me. Should have seen it in your eyes But I believed you really loved me Why can't I believe you said goodbye? Oh, I was the last one to know The first one to cry And the last to let go While she's holding you tight Oh, I was the last one to know The first one to cry And the last to let go oh, 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 I is the one left behind The one left alone With no one to hold oh, 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 The last one to know Mama and Daddy raised us kids with faith in heaven above and a strong, strong work ethic. After a hard day of parentally enforced child labor, working the cattle out in the field at Daddy's ranch, well, we'd all nestle up, Susie and Paik and me, my brother and my sister. We'd nestle up next to the fire, and we'd listen to Mama tell us stories. We'd be all bruised and bloody to the nub, and Mama would sit down by the fire and she'd open up a bedtime book. She'd read it to us. Mama always wanted to be a singer, you see. Bless her heart and rest in peace. 
Mom was the one who brought country music to our family. Country music is like a rainbow of emotions. You know, there's happy songs and sad songs, psychopathic songs and scary songs. Sometimes there's just drinking songs. There's a whole bevy of different songs about something in country music. But the most important thing is they all tell a story. <laughs> like old, shine on me sun, shine a walk with me world, it's a skip. But he do da day I'm the ha you make the coffee, I'll make the bed, <laughs> you know, good born and sleepy head, you know. Oh what was her name? Barbara Fairchild or something like that. Hank Did you ever hear? Robin weep when leaves began to die. It means he's lost the way to live. I'm so lonesome I could cry. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. You look good in those tight blue jeans. <laughs> Conway. <gasps> Somebody should have told him to do something with that helmet of hair he had on his head. Rest in peace. I think he was hiding a Twitty, Twitty burger up in there somewhere in case he got hungry on the road. Conway. Tammy Wynette. I can hear the rain, it's falling softly As I watch him lying next to me oh, What an angel. All of them are sitting up in heaven with my mama right now. <laughs> Patsy, Patsy Klein. Sweet dreams of you. Love and someone new Instead of how sweet dreams bedtime story for y'all. Say hi to Glenn. He's our musical director for the evening. <laughs> and this is my son Shelby. He's grown up. He's a race car driver now. <laughs> Have a look at what story I can read you now. 
Hit it, Glenn. He was on his way home from Candletop Been two weeks gone and he thought he'd stop at Webbs And have him a drink before he went home to her And he wore low, said hello He said, hi, what's doing? Whoa, said, sit down, I got some bad news that's gonna hurt Said, I'm your best friend and you know that's right But your young bride ain't home since you've been gone, she's been seeing that endless boy set. The brother got mad and he saw red. And he said, boy, don't you lose your head. Cause to tell you the truth, son, I've been with her myself. Well, that's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. That's the night that they hung an innocent man. Trust your soul to no backwards southern lawyer Because the judge in the town's got blood stains on his hands And he got scared and left the bar Walking on home cause he didn't live far, you see And he didn't have many friends and he just lost him one Brother thought his wife must have left town so he went home and finally found the only thing daddy had left him and that was a gun. He went off to Andy's house, slipping through the backwoods quiet as a mouse. Come upon some tracks too small for Andy to make. He looked through the screen at the back porch door and he saw Andy lying on the floor in a puddle of blood and he started to shake. Judge said guilty on a make-believe trial Slapped the sheriff on the back with a smile Said supper's awaiting at home And I gotta get to it That's the night that the shots went out in Georgia That's the night that they hung an innocent man oh, oh, So don't trust your soul to no backwards southern lawyer Because I'm looking at the My brother before I could say The tracks he saw out on his way To Andy's house and back that night Were mine His cheating wife I never left town well, That's one body that'll never be found You see, little sister doesn't miss When she aims her gun That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia That's the night that they hung it in Oh, 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 so don't trust your soul to no backwards southern lawyer Because the judge in the town got a lot stain on his hand That's a night that the lights went out in Georgia That's a night that they hung an innocent man Oh, 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 oh. I've been a celebrity so long, this doesn't even bother me anymore. You know what? Summer's almost over. No, it isn't. Summer's upon us. <laughs> the chill of winter is soon to be a memory. And I know all of us, victims of isolation, are suffering greatly. Cold, cold winter doesn't make it any easier, does it? Kind of reminds me of being a little girl back on Daddy's ranch. I was very small, you know, and I'd have to go out to the barn to saddle up the horse to take it out. 
You know, it would be pretty cold outside, and the horse was just as sleepy as I was. It was like four in the morning. You know, and you'd have to push the horse over, and the horse would step on you with his right foot and get on your left foot, and then wouldn't move. You couldn't budge him off because you wouldn't move, stubborn old horse. And you were still so little that you'd have to push the horse over to the water trough and jump on the water trough and throw the saddle on the horse just to cinch him up and hope he didn't take off a running because then you'd fall in the water trough. And then you'd have to jump up on the back of the horse and get that horse out on that field before 4.30 in the morning. That is hard work for a four-year-old. But it made me the businesswoman that I am today. Be my guest. I'd like to give it up for my camera woman, Alicia. She's holding her arm up like Granny on the Beverly Hillbillies still, and I feel real bad about it. I'm going to have to give her a massage at one point after this night from hell. Hard work made me the business tycoon that I am today. I have all of the wonderful things in life. But remember, I was normal like you. Do you need me to slap your leg? Okay. I still do all the things that normal people do. You know, I was a normal girl, just like you, sir. I like to buck broncos and eat my weight in Rocky Mountain oysters, just like you, sister. And don't forget, Reba, I'm your friend forevermore. I want you to listen to me when I tell you that I'm about to sing you a song about a simple person who, through work, hard driven work, and hard focus, became something greater than she could have ever imagined. And this song is called Fancy. I remember it all very well. Looking back, it was the summer of 2018. We lived in a one room, run down shack on the outskirts of New Orleans. We didn't have the money for food or rent to say the least. We were hard pressed And mama spent every last penny We had to buy me a dancing dress Mama washed and combed and curled my hair And she painted my eyes and lips And I stepped into a satin dancing dress With a slit up the side, clean up to my clip Well, it was great, but feel the dream And it fit me good Stepping back from the looking glass Stood a woman with a half grown kid And stood and said, here's your one chance Here's your one 
chance, fancy don't let me down Wasn't very long till a benevolent man took me in off the street One week later I was giving him a tea bag in a hotel suite I turned the king a congressman and I gave another And I bought me a Georgia mansion and an elegant New York town house glad and I ain't done bad Mama for turning me out No matter how little we had But though I ain't had to worry about nothing For now, old 15 years I can still hear the desperation In my poor mama And in my ear Here's your one chance fancy Don't let me down Here's your one chance fancy Don't let me down Lord forgive me for what I do Well if you want out Well it's up to you Well don't let me down, girl, your mama's gonna move your town. <laughs> and I guess she did. Fancy, 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 fancy. <laughs> Got a little dizzy on that one. Hmm? No. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Fuck! I finished it. Did you? <sighs> Fuck. Did I? Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't finish it. But what happened? Oh, there it is. There you go. Anyways, nothing can be perfect in these times. And like I told my dear, dear people here, my family members, filming tonight and playing the music in this beautiful barn of mine that I've had for so many hundreds of years since the beginning of my career, you know, there are no mistakes, okay? Only having fun during hard times and making it work. You know what? There's a lot of can'ts, I was told. Women can't do this. Women can't do that. Y'all proved them wrong by making me the award-winning legend that I have become. <laughs> I'd like to thank you, Glenn Gaffney, for being my musical director tonight, this evening. Thank you so much. I'd like to thank you, Alicia. Alicia Gaffney, my cousin my arch enemy when we were children because you used to like to fake cry all the time and I was mad at you because you were faking it and getting all the attention. <laughs> because you were a turd. You're in trouble and after this. <laughs> am I? I'd like to thank my mama and I'd like to thank my daddy who are watching this show tonight. I'd like to extend a, a very special thank you to the Log On Cafe here in Beaumont, Texas, because that's where this show was originally going to be. You know what I'm saying? But then everything shut down, and now all of the local businesses are struggling. So one thing I would like to say is, please, please, when all of this is over, and even as much as you can right now, Reach out to your local businesses and see what you can do to support them in any way possible. They would really appreciate it. And finally, a big fat thank you to all of the health workers that are, that are getting their asses in so much trouble right now by hanging around germy germoids. So thank you again to all of you for tuning in. And I do hope that you remember Reba loves you. God sure does. Let's settle all of our differences now. 
For one day, we will all be sitting together way up high in yonder, in heaven. Be kind. Be generous. No kissing. No hugging. Keep your distance. Wear gloves. Wear a hazmat suit at all times. In your house, in the bathtub, everywhere, wear a hazmat suit. And maybe, just maybe, we'll all survive this plague. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, I love you.